Hey guys, Lauren Losing here for my week 141 post-op update from vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery, which I had on August 21st, 2013 at Massachusetts General Hospital with Dr. Denise G. I think last week when I came to you guys with an update, I said it was week 141. I was wrong. This is week 141. Um, so we are four weeks officially today out from, no, we are two weeks out from, <clears throat> holy shit, get it together, Lauren. Two weeks out from the WLSFA conference in Nashville. Um, and I am officially four weeks out from my plastic surgery. So let me just get into the stats. Um, I'm going to try to remember now in all of my videos to say my height. So I am five foot two. My first appointment at the weight center, I was 269 pounds. Um, I would love to start in like including BMI and stuff too, maybe if that's helpful. Although I think BMI is bullshit. Um, so anyway, um, my day of surgery weight was 245.5. Last week when I came to you, I had hit um, an all-time low with my weight, all-time low adult weight at 131.5. And this week, I am 129.0. I'm like, I'm getting emotional about this number. I didn't think I was going to be getting emotional in this video. You know me. I like to hold back the tears as much as I can, so I'm going to try. Um, I always had a pie-in-the-sky goal of getting into the 120s. Um, just 120 in general, which is still 9 pounds away. Um, was like, my heavens will open up, angels will sing you know, and unicorns will shit rainbows upon me, goal. Um, so the fact that I'm in the 120s, like that was always, I think a lot of us can, um, can relate to having goals that kind of seem unattainable. They always seem like within your reach, but for some reason keep escaping you. Um, and 120s, being in the 120s was that for me. And the fact that I am two years, eight months, and one week out from surgery and am hitting it is just, it's very emotional for me. Um, I still don't see it, but it's, it's, I have no words. I am so over the moon excited to be in the 120s. Um, and yeah, I didn't, uh, so for people who are going to ask, what'd you do to get into the 120s? My answer is going to always be the same for, I, I haven't been doing anything different than I have been doing in the past five months. Um, I just, I'm eating healthfully. I haven't been going to the gym. I am in my bar clothes right now, though. I'm going to be going to a bar class um, pretty soon, actually, so I have to make this update relatively quick. So, um, I was on The Naked Truth this past week. We talked about dating and intimacy post-WLS. That was a lot of fun, so I wanted to um, thank Elizabeth, who wasn't on it, and um, for having me, and Jennifer for hosting, and obviously Lindsay for being there. Lindsay, I love her. Um, then I went out um, with Amy. Uh, uh, Amy, what the hell is your VS your YouTube channel? Amy gets a VSG might be her YouTube channel. I'm bad at remembering people's YouTube channels. Um, so she's in she's in Boston for work and so we went out for sushi and some drinks and that was a lot of fun. She is having pretty much the exact same plastic surgery as I'm having just three months later. So um, we talked about that a lot. Um, what else do I have to say? Oh, I think in the next coming week, I am probably going to be doing a 
frequently asked questions pre-op plastics video because people have been um, asking more questions. I thought that I kind of covered all I needed to cover in my video last week after my pre-op appointment, um, but there were definitely questions that people asked that I had left out of that video. So I think I'm just going to kind of going to compile some most asked questions and make a video out of that. Um, if you do want to leave some questions below, feel free to. Um, I will definitely be doing, um, you know, a QA and a post-op as well, you know, several months post-op. Um, so yeah, that'll be coming up soon. Um, my FMLA officially got approved yesterday, two days ago. Um, so I'm excited about that. I feel like I can take a nice deep breath that, you know, like I'm, I officially have eight weeks off from work post plastics. I don't have to worry about losing my job in that time. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I just feel like everything is falling into place and, um, you know, I, I am working for it, definitely, but I, you know, last year at this time, I felt like everything was going wrong for me, and I was definitely making poor decisions also, but I feel like there was also this perfect storm going on around me, and I didn't make it any better. Um, but to have that, this complete 180 to this time this year, and feel like everything is going right around me, but I'm also making really positive decisions. Um, it, it just feels great. I, so to touch on Nashville a little bit more, I guess, um, I have surpassed my countdown to Nashville goal. It was really more of a pre-plastics goal, but just, you know, the, the fact that Nashville was exactly two weeks before my plastics. I just decided to make it my count fill to Nashville goal. So my goal was to be between 130 and 135. Um, so I'm really excited that I surpassed that. Um, I, when I made that goal, I, I like to make attainable goals that you still, sh you know, need to push yourself for a little bit and, but then also have like a realism going on in my head. So when I made the goal 130 to 135 in my head I was just like I will definitely get to 135 like that will happen I don't know if I'll get lower than that but you know I'll be happy just as long as I actually get to 135 and I'll make it my goal <clears throat> I'll make my goal a range so I'm really happy about that I am about 15 pounds less than I was at WSFA last year so I have talked to some friends who are feeling self-conscious about going to WLSFA this year because they've maybe gained some weight since last year or have feel like they haven't made much progress and they're feeling self-conscious about it and I know exactly how that feels because that's how I felt going to WLSFA last year. Um, I was, you know, uncomfortable in my clothes, I saw pictures later, I didn't like how I looked. Um, so I don't, I don't know if I have really many words of wisdom out there except for I love you all and I know exactly how you feel because I was there. Um, just try to focus on, you know, the connections and the fun times that you're having and know that things can always turn around. Are my videos going to turn into these cheesy things? Am I just going to turn into a big cheese ball? I don't think so, but um, I will say that this positive mood and positive feelings um, really feels good, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching while I'm in this positive mood and uh, know that my, you know, sarcasm will always be there. This is a weird tangent to go on. I'm gonna go. I have to go to my bar class. It starts in about half an hour. All right, guys, until next time.